Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the 11th Excel tutorial and today I'm going to talk about printing. I just want to show you a couple of hopefully pretty quick things today. Uh, the first one is, is what I've done here is I've just gone and I've created a spreadsheet with several rows and columns um, and just put uh, random numbers in, in, the, um, in the worksheet. So the first way to print is to do what's, what's called a quick print. If you go here to the quick access toolbar up top here, there's a little pull down option here. Select that and then click the quick print option. And what that'll do is add a quick print icon here. And if I were to click this right now, it would just print the active worksheet in the default mode, portrait, um, orientation. Probably not going to use that a whole lot unless you're working with a really basic spreadsheet. So there's several options here. When you go under view, there's several layouts here. One is a normal layout, which doesn't typically show you page breaks and, and so forth. It just shows you your, your worksheet. Then there's a um, page layout view. The page layout view will break it down by page. Okay, so you can see how it's actually going to print. You can also click, um, just click there to add a header. Um, let's see here. Another thing that you can do is click page break preview. And that'll break it down and show you exactly where all the page breaks are. And it's an easy way of editing your page breaks. This blue hyphenated line here is our page break in this case. And you can see we have one here. So let's assume this isn't the right setting and we want to move this page break over to behind column F here. All we have to do is move the mouse anywhere along here where you get the split line, split arrows, and you click and hold your mouse and drag it over to where you want it to go. Okay, so now what we've done is we've moved that page break. Likewise, if we want to move this up a couple rows, the same thing. We take the mouse till we get two split arrows, and we click the mouse, and we just drag it and drop it where we want to. So now we can customize the layout like that. Um, one other thing to note is that this is just the default settings. Um, another thing you can do if you would like to remove a page break see if we can remove one here. Let me add a page break. Let me add a page break here. So let's assume we wanted to add a page break here. We could go into uh, let's see page layout and then we go to breaks and we can say insert page break and it will put insert that page break in there. But let's just assume for a moment that we don't want that page break to go in there. We go back to breaks and we remove the page break. Okay. Another common thing that you'd like to do is change your margins. So there's a couple of different ways to do it. One is to go under page layout menu in the menu here and go to margins and choose custom margins. And from there you can change it with this with this um, with these settings here left margin, right margin, top margin and bottom margin. Make your changes and just click OK. There's also a print preview button there. I'm going to click cancel. I'm going to go back to views and I'm going to go back to page layout view and when I do that oops, I need to go back and clean up those uh, page breaks I can drag this oh, I seem to be missing something here there we go I can drag this margin over up top here and you see it tells me, there's a little pop-up that tells me where it's at. I can just drag it over to say 0.5 inches. So I can just manually and visually make those changes. Uh, so that's another option of how to change margins. Another thing that you commonly have to do in Excel is change the page orient, the print orientation. So the easiest way to do that is go under page layout, orientation, and you can choose portrait or landscape. I'm going to change this to landscape. I'm going to go back into my view and clean up some of these page breaks. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, and move this over here. And now I'm going to go back to page layout, 
orientation, it's on landscape. And then what we can do, we can go into print and let's do a print preview. And you can see it put it landscape and we have several rows. Well, one of the things that you may want to do is you may want to go into page setup here and you might want to squeeze everything onto one page, one page wide by one page tall. So compress the document, you say OK, and you'll notice it compressed it down very, very small here. Excel doesn't care how tiny you make your, your font, it doesn't take that into consideration. So that's probably not going to be a good choice. So what we want to do, you see what happened, it, sque it compressed it to 40% of normal size. So probably what we want to do is go to one pages wide by two pages tall and click OK, and that's much more readable. Okay, then if you go back into page setup, you see it compressed it down to 82%, which is probably legible um, as far as your printout goes. The other thing while you're in here, if you would like to print grid lines, click OK, and there's your grid lines. Another thing you can do is the same thing, print, uh, you know, if you want to print it black and white, you want to print row and column headings, whatever those options are, um, you can do there. Okay, so I'm going to close print preview. I'm going to go back to my normal view. Actually, I'll go to page layout view for a minute. If I want to add a header, I click it here. And then finally, um, one other thing I want to show you, if I want to just set a print area for a smaller area, say I want to do from A1 through H20, I can just select that one area, and then I can choose the office button here, print, I'm sorry, that's not how you do that, where is that at, okay, I'm going to set the print area here, and here it is right here, under page layout, print area, set that as your print area, now if I click print preview, now if I go to print that, I can go and choose preview, and you see it's just selecting that area. So that's all I really wanted to show you for today, and I appreciate you joining, and please subscribe. I have a lot more Excel videos coming, and I'll also get into other topics, other software packages soon also. Thanks. Bye.